Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well given the quarantine and my name is Nia Gao, I'm, the, I'm from Utopical School of the Art and I'm the founder and the creator. Hi! Uh, also the creator of Ask Alley Contemporary and I moved to Canada um, at age 14 and working on various different media which is including photography, um, installation and to question the boundary of um, the strut fabricate uh, within the material layer of my human condition. Um, so I'm currently um, leasing uh, and work in Toronto, Canada and attend Topical School of the Art for contemporary art program. So I just want you to say thank you so much, uh, Ari Topoko, to give me hi, uh, for giving me the chance to share my art and my home studio with you. And thanks for y'all all who is watching this video. I really appreciate that. So I don't know. Hi. Thanks for watching. Um, so um, before I begin, I'm probably going to answer some questions for you. So um, what is my background? So I am Chinese Canadian and I moved to Canada when I was age 14. So basically start my um, grade 8, like the end of grade 8 here. And then I live in, currently live in Markham. And because I was um, attending grade 9, grade 10 at Unimel High School, which is my home school, then I transferred to Etobicoke School of the Art um, for my contemporary art practice, which is for my grade 11 and grade 12. Uh, I have really good times there, and yeah, that's my like inf little info about myself. And uh, what does work? Um, what does your work aim to say? So what is my art mostly about? So uh, before grade nine, grade 10, I'm just uh, in a very traditional way uh, of art making. I might show you some like uh, my portfolio later. So, um, and I can hang around with what I'm making when I was grade nine and grade 10. And I came to ESA grade 11, which is a huge change for me. So I start to notice art is not just like making a beautiful painting or drawing, but like it's more like what you want to say. So I'm just going to talk about a little of my artist statement. So, so basically I think my work is as like ongoing experiment. Um, that question the boundary uh, of like this trough fabric it with the material layer of my human condition, which I said a little bit before, and most specifically the way uh, which connect uh, with my immediate family and um, and also my identity. So basically, culturally, um, I was um, very separate to curious to fade a fear like I was so vulnerable and uh, exposing vulnerability and being thought that um, some bad thing I should ignore and I sh like I should get an emotion cut off and so us doing so will make me feel stronger somehow so um, uh, from what I'm making right now is our make um, my art start to begin grew off the foundational fear and dealing with um, it's too is is the right thing to exposing too much or too little um that will help me to oh my my friend is all here hi um um so I start to analyze different contacts uh and with myself and the final goal is resting cue uh what i was uh uh, what was lost, which is me. So I kind of learned it throughout my uh, myself with my final goal, and and how it started the shape of my identity form, and yeah, dealing with the reality uh, with my family and as well as myself. So that's like little info about what I'm making right now. And another question is, uh, how long have you been outside with our Tobigos? So um, earlier, I just said that um, I came to ESA and get no art topico when I was grade 11. And, and now I'm a grade 12 student and uh, I will be graduated this uh, June. Hopefully we'll have a like graduation somehow, but it seems we don't have that. Um, 
and do my grade 10 or grade 11 i think that's where i start to alphabet with uh, connect with art topical and i think it's very i think art topical is amazing and i uh, um being so lucky to involve some project and some show like also with um the new project rs um isolation so i think it's really good yeah it's really good i hope you uh, y'all going to submit some art or topical i think there's really good um and also another few questions what do you do with your spare time we're not creating art um like most of my time is spending on art making to be honest because um for our students and yes it's pretty hard for us because we have to manage all for school work and uh, art making at the same time and we have really good um huge project that uh, individual being signed to individual or like what we want to make so it's been a challenge to how manage it both um like academic work and art making at the same time so like I, mostly my spare time is making art because art takes a lot of time and yeah and i also love cooking and i love watching movies and i love sports and i look into some um learn about some artists or history art history do my spare time and also my own organization to uh, my own organization is called Ask Gallery Contemporary. So basically, it's a um, student-run, artist-run um, organization that promotes young artists, which is I will talk about later. And I can uh, wait. Let me just tag uh, my name here. Mm, yeah. Wait. I will like post and ping it later on. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. You can ask me any question if you want. Like, it's totally fine. Okay, so, and let's keep on with the question. Um, so why do you think the community art are important? So, wow. So, um, so basically, um, our community is very important because I'm um, like, it create an environment for people to socialize and learn in groups together and share experience and support each other as a community because I learned that art is just not just about individual but more how you connect with people and building that relationship and get more people to involve in order to aware your um uh, what you want to say to like let more people to understand and share your thought like i think it's very important and i really appreciate that art topical that gives the artists um an opportunity to connect um like connect with the art community um doing our isolation um oh yes of course so <laughs> Yep, uh, so the piece that I uh, participated, sorry, um, part of shifting environment is uh, plaster hands. Uh, I make a like, I think seven, six, six uh, plastic hand. Um, and it's kind of like an installation. It was like very regret that we cannot like present like in person and we cannot present it like physical gallery space, but our YouTube did a really good job on like creating a virtual like um, gallery, which is, wow, was surprising. They can do this at a very short time. So uh, like, Shifting environment for me is not just about uh, how climate change and the um, climate or environment, like a general environment, but like for what I understand, shifting environment more like involve about like political part for me. So how um, in some places that uh, human right does not recognize a part of, uh, I mean. Freedom of speech, sorry, uh, freedom of speech does not really recognize a uh, part of human rights, and how some like governments and some uh, Pacific country that being represented in the hand, um, 
that like creates certain policy that is like kind of against uh, humanity but like on the other hand it's kind of like what they say is protecting their own people so they're being lied on some certain information about um Certain information about what happened, what ha what really happened in the society. So, like the shifting environments, more about like political, some part of political issue. I I hope that makes sense. Yeah, yep. Sorry about that. Doesn't. Okay. So, okay, it's time for a studio tour. So I'm going to take you with me. So let me just. Okay. Oops. Let me just. Yep. And then there's some oil paint. I don't really use oil paints that often, but like my first like oil paint in a while. So I hope that makes sense. And also there's some portrait from my mom and it's kind of rushed through it because like for uh, March, because my mom's birth birthday is in March, I want to give her a birthday gift and it's kind of rushed through it. Same with my dad. Um, like he's in April, so I'm like kind of like rushed through it. But like I will be, f I, I will definitely go into like like repaint it and make some adjustment to where the portrait is not quite finished yet, but yeah. And those are my like, uh, things like grade nine and 10. So that's a lot of sketchbook. I can just quickly um, uh, go through it if you want. There's some, I'm not sure if you're going to like it, but yeah. I do a lot of sketchbook and like just play around and my sketchbook's not that like well it's not looking nice it's pretty messy and but it's fun like artists all have their art like I mean sketchbook so they can drop their ideas down and those are some fashion design because um I was involved in a fashion program um, last year so they asked me to do some design so just like I don't know but never have a chance to use them after that so the the program was canceled which is sad um, there are some like pen drawing and some faces and yes and this is kind of self-portrait that one of my friends drawn on my sketchbook well I don't know it's fun she's He's pretty cute. And there's some like other sketch like part of it. There's some nice sketchbook and I have like fifteen of them. Like I used to use those like um before two thousand eighteen I was used to those mixed median like um sketchbook is really good. It's pretty good. But like for a while because like the paint and all the like um the projects get involved and I like to stick a lot of like um well some like information or like sheet into it, it become very heavy. So I stopped using them. 
and I start to use、uh, those small ones. It's very easy to care. So when you go travel, you always can care.、Um, Sketchbook and I always have、um, two sketchbook way、um, with me all the time, and this is the sketchbook that I,、um, from two thousand nineteen. So it has been a while, but I do not have a chance to fill them up. This is more like my project、um, sketchbook, which is、um, the project I started,、uh, and I keep a lot of information about it until the end. It's more like a project sketchbook, and those are some of my portfolio that where I apply for university and all the stuff. And、uh, that's my family series, and there's some like projects detail. Construction like notes and dimension, yep. Some fashion design, and have a lot of weird stuff. Yep, some notes. A project, project, project. Thank you so much. And those some like sketchbook. And、um, like, as I mentioned earlier, like I did a lot of traditional painting. So this is oops, this is from this is acrylic. That、uh, what I used to paint a lot. So this is a piece from two thousand seventeen, I believe. Two thousand seventeen is a pretty long time ago. So、uh, what I use is I love to use acrylic to. Sketch it out my paintings, at at the beginning, and then I layer them up with the oil. So acrylic is very nice medium to use, which is、um, it dries pretty fast and the color is pretty like stainable. It's not like something color when you paint on something later on, then the color doesn't match. So it's pretty cool. It's very like acrylic is similar to oil, but like. It dry faster, which is、um, the property I really like, and there are also some really good,、um, not really good. Well, I love that part. Like、um, some paintings、uh, I used to make. This is a place for Venice, a place at Venice, and I painted from a photography. So when I was grade three, and I went a trip. To Venice with my mom. It's a group trips, and then I got sick in Italy for some reason. I went to the hospital, and this is very significant because、um, then my mom. I was in the hospital, but like for some reason that my mom had to catch up the schedule that the like trip assigned to her. So she went to this beautiful place, Venice, and. And then funny story, and she took a picture and sent it to me, and said, "Hey, I'm like in Venice, and like, okay, great, but I'm in the hospital." Well, she's like she's being super mom, and she have to take care of me because me and just me and my mom here, and then yeah, and my dad is working back to hometown. And this is another one of my favorite painting that I paint so far. It's called the Civil World. Um, so it's two thousand. I painted in two thousand eighteen, I believe, during the winter. It's kind of like a still life painting. So I bought this paint. I bought the I bought the canvas to um. Actually, to the like. A place, a like、uh, a park near my house, and I start painting for like three hours. Then, like because it's like a winter and it's been very cold, so like I took picture and I reference this as a picture, and then like paint finish it at home in my um um in my like art schools. So yeah. Okay, this is basically、uh, my space. Looks like I share it with my mom. So yeah. Any other like questions so far? Um, I don't know. And also, um, some people ask me, warm, um, 
working on right now so i spend most of my time still painting and doing some project too hi and still do some like a uh, very cool project uh for example uh, oops what happened ah uh, sorry about that um some project for example uh and I create those like my new project, uh, which is is supposed to have a show um, uh, around May with Art Topico, but um, because the crisis, and we don't really have a chance to um, put into a show at this moment, but like we hope we can work together and going to put it into a physical gallery very soon. So that would be a down. And also, I've been working on my gallery, my um, online gallery um, that I found at the beginning of 2019. It's called Ask Gallery Contemporary. Um, basically, we're like part, uh, so basically, we're a um, student run organization that promotes young artists and learning and creativity, growing by providing exhibition opportunities throughout online uh, gallery art show and a magazine and this is um i'm going to change like look view look um this is the show that we created um on i think march 17 which is before um the government announced like about the um, the isolation so let me just show you some pictures very crowded it's kind of like I'm like, I'm sorry they're risking their life, but it's a very good show. We have 24 artists from seven different schools across GTA uh, being attended to the show, which is incredible. Yep, that's uh, my teacher, and this is uh, our uh, voice principal at school, and this is um, Novak, Mr. Novak. Um, is our photography teacher, and this is my art teacher, and he's called Matthew Berry, Mr. Berry. They're being so supported uh, throughout my um, gallery show and all this stuff. Like, I really appreciate your helps. And also, there are a lot of MPs come to visit us, and then um, city councilor uh, like giving us grading or something. It's pretty cool. I really appreciate that. And this is one of my stuff, Tina. Yep, that's me. Yep. People who involved the show, they're only part of people who involved the show because, um, like, some parents don't want their kids to to get um, coronavirus, so they just like, oh, I'm sorry, we can't um, attend the show at this moment. So, but that's the so that's totally fine. So we also promote artists on our website for sure. some incredible artists and also if you want and you can like press the join us and we have a submission form and it's that lunch today but like if you want you can submit it's totally free you just need to upload your work and if you have an artist statement that'd be great and just submit your bio and then we'll do the rest Think that's pretty cool and then we have a new project going on is for isolation challenge for um stay home so if you so basically the deadline is may um eight which is like seven eight days from now and then if you want to submit your work you can and then you may want a chance to win a, like art supplies and then we will mail to you when the Canada Post is open at this moment. Yep. So I'm going to answer question. Oh, my sculpture piece process. Okay, so my sculpture piece. So you mean a piece that I just shown on um, the resin one? 
Okay. So, it's very frustrating to make those like cubes. So basically, um, it's a project called um, the shifting boundaries. Uh, it's one of the prom when I apply for university, and which is funny is they are uh, they're more like a political like aspect. So um, also which is kind of match my theme, uh, where I just talk about that um, so in some country that human. I mean, freedom of speech is not recognized part of human right. So, like, and like, government hides some secrets from us. So, the process of making this, be, um, I use those like I don't know if you can see it, the small cubes, the wooden cubes, and I stick on um, the CCTV footage that I like illegal download online, which is kind of expose what our governments hide from us. So I stick on a cube and I put into a, a resin. So uh, the mold I got is from the um, ice maker. I found that's very easy to make a mold. So I don't need to spend too much more money on on it. So I think that would do the job. I think if that is answer your question. And I make a lot of them. Those are just part of the cubes I made. Yep. Hi. Oh, um, also, is there any question? Thank you. Is there any other question? Okay, uh, one more icebreaker question. So what do you do with yours? Um, okay, what is the most meaningful art experience that you have? So uh, throughout my, well, art making, it has been uh, almost like straight and a half year. I started art making um, when I was grade 90 and the grade nine. <laughs> so it's probably like a little late compared to other, but like, it's okay. Um, so, um, in grade 11, that's a huge shift for me because I moved to Etobicoke and I attend to our Etobicoke, I mean, uh, Etobicoke School of the Arts, sorry. Um, and I, well, because I definitely feel the differences because our Un Univell High School is still a, is also an art school and and I transferred to Topical School of Arts and I can definitely feel the differences how much opportunity that I receive at ESA and compared to my old school, which is also a great school. And then was one of the challenge when I was grade 11 and also considered most meaningful art experience I have, which is the PDX, which is a National Portfolio Day. Tan at my school, which is usually host on um, November, during November, at the beginning of the November or at the end of the October each year. So there will be 20, I mean, there will be almost like 100 uh, wraps from like 70 or 80 different schools come to visit us and we're going to showcase our portfolio to apply university. And that's the most like I have been working on it and then for for only grade 12 student who yeah for grade 12 student who is applying for university and like grade 11 and grade 10 I mean grade 11 and grade 12 the being most like I spend most of my time doing my PDX portfolio day which is like who is serious my work and it's kind of like how get feedback from different university and that's very stressful that time and also after process which is applying to university which is what i'm doing right now well i kind of finished it but yeah so i this year i applied 25 um university from the state and i heard heard back from 17 of them um school and project 
I mean program uh, with very generous scholarship and so far the total amount is over 1.6 million Canadian dollar scholarship from the all 17 school so I think the process of do like doing PDX the process like getting PDX experience through PDX and till now it's been very meaningful like um our experience for me for so far so yeah hmm and I goes a lot like downtime like it's kind of like you're riding a roller coaster sometimes like got so much scholarship but like at the same time I have to work so hard to match how much scholarship you receive thank you Okay, I'm just going to type my Instagram here, if you guys don't mind. Thank you so much. Thing. yeah I, I should do that beginning of my life uh, it's kind of late but it's okay anyway thank you so much for connecting with me and doing the um, isolation I really appreciate it and thank you so much and thanks Aritopical for such a great opportunity for me to share what I'm making right now and I uh, hopefully to see you guys soon so thank you so much and i hope you all stay safe and healthy and take care bye thank you so much